okay? Jeff the Crippler Daniels, it seems that the ag bars stole our microphones and everything, and they've just got all kinds of confusion going on here tonight. You know, Jack, they just come out here, these guys and have set their own stipulations and they and, and agreed to matches, and uh, you know, this is, we're supposed to be at an intermission. I was in the back, and uh, it's like they've just hey, taken over. Out here, this show, uh, what, what can you say, it's the 300th episode, Ali, Akbar and, and Drew Haskins in the ring, and they're going at it. And from what I'm hearing, that if Akbar defeats Drew next week, they get a shot at the Southern titles. But if Drew beats Akbar, the Akbars are out of NWA. They will be out of here, hopefully. Uh, you know, it would be nice if they could just leave tonight. I don't think they're going to do that. Or if they'd never come in at all. But we see the head scissors there by Akbar. And here comes Haskins. Big arm drag takeover, and Akbar rolls out. Beautiful, beautiful reversal and big arm drag. Ali out to the outside and uh, the Untouchables doing exactly what they want to do right now. Can you imagine on this 300th episode show if they can beat the Agmars before the Agmars even get a chance to get started here in Saw and send them packing, Jack? It don't get much better than that right here on NWA Saw. That would be nice, Cripplers. We see Akbar roll back in. Haskins right after him. Akbar kind of uh, not as cocky as he was a little bit earlier. Well, I tell you what I like. I like the fact that Jeremiah Plunk is still at ringside because anytime this big monster Mustafa's out here, you can always bet that he's going to stick his nose in it. But Plunkett is out there to equal things up, and I don't believe it's going to get out of hand. Nice snap mare there by Agbar, and if you're just tuning in, it's the NWA Southern Tag Team Champions, the Untouchables, taking on Ali and Mustafa Agbar. And right now, Ali Agbar raking the eyes of Drew Haskins. He's going to pull him out. Look at the look on Drew's face. I don't know if he can even see right now. He break, look at the redness. Oh, where he's dragging him back in the ring. Oh, wait, he's trying to get that camel clutch. He's going for it. Can he get the clutch locked in? Drew's fighting with everything he's got. These guys love the camel clutch. They, they do lots of things with camels. Let me, let me tell you something about that camel clutch, Jack. Have you ever had that camel clutch put on you? Thank goodness I haven't. But I, uh, there's a reason for that. I think it would hurt. Believe me, it'll make you back, back crack your liver quiver. It's no fun at all. He's almost got Drew. He's almost got him. Wait a minute. Drew's fighting back. Oh, right to the small of the back. He's still working, weakening that back. And if he gets that thing locked in, it could be trouble. It's going to be trouble for Drew Haskins. Not Ali, can be. Ali Akbar and Mustafa Akbar have brought chaos to the sawmill. It was like, you know, you had a regular stable of people that came in here. Then the Akbars come in, mess everything up, scare people to death just by the way they look and the way they talk. Well, I did receive correspondence back that Ali Akbar is indeed the nephew of General Skandar Akbar. Mustafa, I don't know anything about. Very secretive, a lot of secrets involved with these two. But I did receive correspondence back that Ali is a direct nephew of General Skandar Akbar. He is Skandar Akbar's sister's oldest son. Wow. The genealogy right there is scary enough. Well, from what I understand, he is actually a crowned prince. Lots of oil money behind this family. Like I said, Mustafa, very secretive. Not even sure if he's a true cousin, could be a royal bodyguard. But I do have confirmation that Ali Akbar is without a doubt exactly who he says he is. And he has the money and the power to back him. And there's Drew Haskins. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ali Akbar. opportunity there. You know, the Akbars, I always think they, they, they love to fight. I mean, they've got, oh! They've got that much oil money, and they still want to cause chaos. Whoa, wait a minute, Drew Haskins. Oh, oh. Tremendous atomic drop. He's feeling the effects of that. Big shot to the midsection. Oh, high 
high knee lift. Akbar's rocking it really. Drew's on fire in there. Oh, big drop kick caught him right on the point of the chin. What a tremendous show this 300 episode has been, Jack. It's everything Saul could ever be. And I'm so proud to be a part of this thing here tonight. Drew's sitting up. He's ready for it. Wait a minute. What's Mustafa doing? Mustafa's up on the ring. Here comes Plunkett. Uh oh, Ali Akbar. has got his back turned. Crawls out of the corner. Meanwhile, what's that? Akbar's hey, wait a minute. Oh, he's got the minute. belt. Ali's got that tag team title belt. Know, he's got that southern that. title. Wait a minute. Oh! He oh, got Drew right between the eyes with that title. Oh, he is out. Drew Haskins is out. Here's the cover. One, two, three. That's I it. I can't believe it. The referee was over busy with Mustafa and Plunkett. Oh, and Ali man. took that southern title and caught Drew right between the eyes. The Akbars are going nowhere. But right here next week, the Untouchables are going to have to put those belts on the line. And the Akbars get their first opportunity at NWA Gold. That's going to be one that God knows the Untouchables are going to be ready. Unbelievable. Once again, the big man Mustafa plays a major part in the success of Prince Ali Akbar. Akbar brings in the muscle and it proves a win for the Akbars. You're watching Saw. We are a cut above the rest.